Okay, guys, who is mad about the clickbait yesterday? Who's mad? Everyone's mad about the clickbait. I know I clickbaited you a little bit yesterday. I'm sorry, I was just feeling a little bit provocative. And I never really clickbait, but yesterday I just felt like doing it. So I'm sorry, I won't do it very often, but I will probably do it in the future. But uh, everyone was very, very upset. Anyway, today, this is a movie review channel. Now it's movie review. I'm gonna use that uh, knowledge that I got at one semester of film school for $30,000 to review this movie. So last night I clicked on this movie on Netflix called Eris Weiter Da. The uh, English title is Look Who's Back. And it is a movie about Adolf Hitler coming back to life in the 21st century in modern day. And I guess it's based on like a best-selling book. And it was very interesting, <laughs> very interesting for sure. So not a, not a real in-depth analysis here, but just a couple little thoughts that I have for you guys. First of all, a couple facts about it. The film was made for $3.3 million and it grossed $25.5 million at the box office. So it was a success financially. Now I have to say, when I, I've heard about this before, Cody had talked about this like book. Um, I think he read it maybe. So I'd heard about this book and the movie and then I just like was stumbling through Netflix last night and just saw it and I was like, all right, let's check it out. So it was all in German, of course, German movie, and there was only German subtitles available. So this is the first time I have watched a movie full on in German with German subtitles. So no English subtitles. So I definitely missed some stuff, but for the most part, I could understand what was going on and understand enough of the language and context and stuff. So I wasn't completely lost. Second, I was actually a bit surprised that somebody would make this movie or write this book. I don't know if surprise is the right word. One of the things, one of like the, the rumors about Germany that you hear coming over is like, oh yeah, in, in German schools, they don't, uh, they don't talk about 1933 to 1945 in schools. They just skip that whole part of history and you just like come to find out it's the complete opposite. So I guess some part of my brain was like, I can't believe that they would make a, a comedy film about Adolf Hitler in Germany, don't they? Don't they try and just pretend that that never happened? So that, that little bit in my brain probably came up there. Don't worry, I don't actually think that. But so the movie is kind of like, it's a mix between like scripted scenes and then unscripted scenes where the dude, the actor, walks around dressed up as Hitler, like in real situations and they film it um, and he's interacting with real people and you can tell because they have to blur out a lot of the people's faces because they didn't give consent. Hey, privacy infringement, just what I was talking about. I have to say, I had no like expectations going into it. I was like, this is probably just gonna be weird and stupid. And it was kind of weird and stupid, but I also laughed. Like it was definitely funny at times, like seeing Adolf Hitler try and go to the dry cleaning to get his SS uniform washed. Like it was just like a classic fish out of water scenario. So it was just funny. Um, and it was interesting to see how different people reacted to this guy dressed up as Hitler, especially like in the real scenes, the, the unscripted scenes where he's actually interacting with people. It's very interesting to see how people responded to him. There's an opening scene in uh, Potsdamer Platz in Berlin where he's walking around, there's all the people and people are like taking selfies with him and stuff. And I'm fairly certain that this scene was one of the, the real scenes that was just, they just filmed this actor walking around. Uh, as Hitler. So that was super interesting to see. Everyone's first reaction, take a selfie with Hitler. The movie goes on and it's like uh, the Hitler character and this other news guy kind of go through uh, Germany meeting with people, talking with people and stuff. And it's interesting and funny. So Hitler like starts going on like TV shows and stuff and getting popular and all sorts of stuff. And then um, the most interesting part to me is the end of the movie where he's driving down uh, the road in a Mercedes convertible and he's like waving out to people and people see him dressed up. And this is another one where they're actually just filming real people. You can tell because a lot of their faces are blurred out. It's a very, it's a mix of people like seeing him and flipping him off and people seeing him and like giving the Nazi salute. And that's easy to edit. Like they probably could have captured just like a handful of people giving the Nazi salute and then put those in and only put the same amount of people flipping them off or being angry at him. And then it kind of goes into these um, scenes of all these um, nationalism riots and stuff throughout Europe. So it's, uh, the way I interpreted it is that it's kind of trying to maybe send the message of uh, like a warning message of people of that this is, it's possible for someone like that to gain power uh, again. 
And I read some reviews from like professional movie critics who said, you know, there's funny parts of the film, but it, it lacks any sort of solid message at the end. And I think there was a message at the end um, because then uh, the last line in the film is the Hitler character saying, I can work with this. Damn it, come on, I'll fight. Which is like, all right, I could, I could rise to power again or something like that. So that's the way I interpreted it. I want to hear from you guys who probably know more about it, who picked up every single word in the movie and know exactly what was going on because I definitely missed some stuff. Let me know if you've seen this or read the book. Uh, super interesting topic, I think. Okay, so that's all for today. Nice short video. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, and I'll see you next time.